Hello, hello, guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Zachariah the Ghost. Yesterday, I spent time on TikTok. I was watching prophets on TikTok, and it's heartbreaking simply because of I, I try to you know run away from spirituality topics, but what is happening to my brothers and sisters? You know, it hurts because people are desperate, people are at the crossroads, people want answers simply because of they are frustrated. They really don't know what to do, and we all know that. We, we, we can speak how we want to speak about prophets and, you know, traditional healers. But when things are hard, we always go back to them simply because of we want clarity. And something happened because the prophet was saying, you know, he wants to prophesy. He wants to help people. God will deliver people, God will make miracles, their things will change and all this type of stuff. And people started, you know, commenting by writing their names and where they're from. And there was this other lady that I felt sorry for her. You can hear her voice on the other side of the phone that she desperately need help. And the prophets saw that there is a void, there is a gap when it comes to spirituality, when it comes to healing, that they need to fill. Of course, when it's like that, you're going to find, you know, prophets who are really there to help. And you're going to find prophets who are there, who wants to gain financially. And now I noticed something because of something strange was happening. People who were requesting and he accept whereby they can start talking to him, they were like actually telling the prophets the things that the prophet was supposed to be telling them. I was like, no, this is vice versa. All these things you're telling him, he was supposed to be telling you. And when it's time for the prophet to prophesy, it's like he has a blueprint now. He is like saying things which are very, very close to what the lady said, it's like anybody can do that. The lady told him that, you know, she's a businesswoman. She's trying very hard to buy things and, you know, sell. He wanted to know what kind of a business she's doing. She told him that she's selling clothes. And he said, Lizzo, a business lago. Like how we see things, the business will fail. The business will collapse. And you can hear how the other lady responded on the other side. Like, it is not what she was expecting. That really blow her. That really hit her heart. And he said he see these things which were sent by people from the dark so that they can block her things. So that her business can fail financially. She can suffer. It hurts. It hurts. I, I try very hard to run away from, you know, spiritual content, but it hurts. Because I, I don't know why these guys are doing this. And they get away with it all the time. It is just, it hurts. You need to tell him who you are. You're saying him. They even go the extra amount to even say, I'm using my mother's same name, but actually my father's same name is this and that. What do he see? If you have to give him all that information. And now he has even the audacity to even say, I see the technologies which are sent by people and they are doing one, two, three in your life. I mean, so the lady had to book so that he can consult. And help him. And if the woman, she is over 30, 
and you're telling the woman that you know you you see you see her seeing this guy or dating this guy and there are things which are not going well in the relationship i'm like what are you talking about Of course, she have seen many guys. Relationship failed, of course. If you're going to talk about a failed relationship, what are you talking about? Be specific. Talk about this. Because now the person will keep on saying, yeah, but I see the person. You're no longer staying with the person. The, the relationship didn't work out. It failed. What do you think? The reason why those people are no longer together is because of the relationship didn't work. It has. And, um, yeah, people are searching for answers. People are desperate. If you can see, people are sending presents, people are sending roses. Simply because of the, the, the so called smart ones that they have seen how prophets prophesy. How certain things are done. They understand the language, the codes of how to be a prophet. Because others, this nowadays, they even go to school. I don't even know where that such thing, you know, comes from. Whereby you can go to school to learn about certain things, a prophetic school and everything. You know, it, it just hurts. Because they know the codes. They know what to say to you. And at the end of the day, the so-called prophet has to take the money and go and maintain their, their you know, their children and, and, and look, look superior when they are walking on the street with their women, but they know what they're doing to people. You know, they're just cheating people who are desperate. I one day got into trouble with these other guys when I was at Val. You know, these guys were charging people so that they can prophesy them. And and you know, I was I was against that. But now I understand what they're doing on TikTok. They're doing the same method which those guys were doing back in the days. And I told them that what you guys are doing, you are going to bring a different energy to this place. Because the way the place is, you know, people are getting help. People are, are getting the great prophecies, not because of now the prophet knows that you're going to bring money or something. It, it was just a solid place. It's, we were under the bridge at farm, you know, and... Till this day, the things that the prophets told me, till this day, they are still happening. I still move with that blueprint. I know certain things. Okay, there I'm not supposed to do that simply because of that will happen. Okay, when I get there, I need to do one, two, three, four, simply because of I was told about that. Because even when things are happening in life, I understand. Okay, I'm on this stage right now, but it's going to pass. And I'm going to get to the other stage. So it hurts me when... When you know that there is prophets who prophesy you, who tell you stuff or things, which even if when you look at those things, when you meet them in life, you're like, you was right about this and that. And you see people who call themselves prophets and they are online and they're just taking chances. It, it just hurts. It and I appreciate you guys showing me love and support. I wanted to speak about it.